Welcome to Cooking Matters for Kids, Lesson 4. Today on the menu is Grain and Breakfast. So last week, friends, we talked a lot about fruits and vegetables and why they're so important for our health. We talked about eating the rainbow of colors of fruits and vegetables because no single fruit or veggie can give our bodies everything it needs. And the things that we get from those fruits and vegetables are vitamins and minerals and fiber, really important for our bodies. So remember, on my plate, half of our plate can be fruits and vegetables. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the grain group found on my plate. We are going to talk about making half your grains, uh, whole grains, and why that's really important. We're also going to talk a little bit about breakfast and how to incorporate some of those whole grains into those breakfast foods. So I've gathered different kind of grain products that I had here in the kitchen. Do any of these look familiar to you? Whole grains are called whole because they contain the entire kernel of grain. What you see on the plate are kernels of wheat on the right that usually grow on a farmer's field. And they live inside the little tiny shaft um, on the stalks of grain and usually you see them blowing in the wind and farmers will come and they'll harvest them. You can see in the different color of flowers, the one on the left, what kind of flower do you think that is? Is that white flour or refined flour or is it a whole wheat flour? If you thought the bag on the left was whole grain, you are correct. A lot of times manufacturers might put different coloring in the flour and the only way to tell that it's an actual true whole grain product is to make sure that that first ingredient lists that it is a whole grain. So how would I know if the product that I'm eating is an actual whole grain? And what you're seeing um, in this picture on the left is a whole grain and on the right is a refined grain. So that whole grain is made up of three different components. You can notice on the outside, there is the bran, and that bran is fiber filled. It's got B vitamins and ton of minerals. And fiber acts as a broom in our body, kind of sweeping out the bad stuff in our intestines. And it also helps keep us fuller longer. So when we eat it, it breaks down a little slower than say something made out of a refined grain. So we stay fuller longer. You notice that there is a germ in there. It looks like a little kidney shape. You might've heard the term wheat germ. So that's where that little part lives inside the kernel. And it is nutrient packed with B vitamins, vitamin E, phytochemicals, and different healthy fats. And the middle part, the, the part that is the, the largest is um, the endosperm. It is the starchy carbohydrate middle layer and it has some protein and some vitamins. When they are milling the grain, they can mill it either way as the whole grain, so all those components are used, or they mill it and they strip off the bran, they take out the germ, and what's left is the starchy carbohydrate energy center. Because they've taken so much out, they have to enrich it back with some healthy vitamins and minerals for us. So you can see which um, out of the two would be the healthier version. And whole grains, if we're eating whole grains um, in our diet, they also help reduce different blood cholesterol levels and they help us maintain healthy blood sugar levels. So whole grains really do a whole lot of goodness in our body.
sometimes if I'm buying something at the grocery store, I might see some different um, things that are marketed on the front of the package. Some of it might say made with whole grains, multi-grain, 12 grain all natural, split top wheat, things like that. And it kind of is confusing to me. How would I really know if it's a whole grain product? So this is the best way to find out if my product is an actual whole grain product. I want to look for that list of ingredients on the box or the bag. And when I find it, I want to look for the word whole, as in this case, whole grain or whole wheat flour. That's the very first ingredient. And if it's a whole grain product, it needs to be the very first ingredient. That ingredients list is actually a list of all the things that they put into the recipe to make the product I'm buying. And it's made up from the very first ingredient being the most things they used in there to the very least at the bottom of the ingredients list of what they used in there. Here are some really awesome whole grain snack ideas that you can enjoy. Which one is your favorite? So whole grains sound like they'd be a really good thing to start my day off with. And what do we usually start our day off with? But breakfast. So breakfast, we're breaking that fast from sleeping all night. We need to put some good stuff in our bodies. And whole grains would be a great way to uh, incorporate something really healthy for me. Um, Evie and Lucia are actually gonna incorporate some whole grain granola into uh, a yogurt parfait. And they're getting some awesome, awesome food groups in that um, breakfast meal. They're getting their whole grain, they're getting some protein, try to figure out what protein they're using, and they're getting some dairy with the yogurt. Our kids in the kitchen, Evie and Lucia LaCroix, are whipping up a great grain option for breakfast. They're actually making some homemade granola and they're gonna incorporate that into a yogurt parfait which would be awesome to eat for breakfast. Hi everybody, it's Evelyn and Lucia. And today we're making homemade granola and yogurt parfaits. But before we do that, we're gonna wash our hands, clean up our surface, and tie our hair up if it's in our face. Now that we are ready, let's get all of our ingredients out for the granola. First, we will need four tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of canola oil, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two cups of old fashioned rolled oats, four tablespoons of sliced or chopped almonds, nonstick cooking spray, one half cup of dried raisins or cranberries, apricots, dates, or fruits. So for materials, we will need a baking sheet, a fork, a large bowl, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a medium bowl. And finally, we are ready to make food. So, let's get cooking! First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And remember to always get parental permission before cooking. 
You have my permission. In a large bowl, combine honey, oil, and cinnamon, and whisk with a fork. Then add the oats and the almonds. Stir well until the honey mixture coats everything. Coat your baking sheet with nonstick cooking spray and spread the oat mixture evenly across the sheet. Bake until lightly browned for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure to stir every five minutes and watch closely to make sure it doesn't burn. Once it's finished, remove it from the oven and let it completely cool. Once it's cooled down, transfer it to your medium bowl and stir in dried fruit. Set that aside and let's make our yogurt parfaits. Parfaits? I love parfaits! <laughs> to put this together, you will need three cups of non-fat plain yogurt or whatever flavor you would like. Four cups of fresh or thawed frozen fruit, such as bananas, blueberries, strawberries, peaches, mangoes, or raspberries. Today, we will be using bananas and raspberries. One and one half cups of homemade granola and two tablespoons of sliced almonds. And for materials, we will need six cups or bowls, a cutting board, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a sharp knife. To start, if you are using fresh fruit, rinse or peel. But if you are using thawed frozen fruit, just drain any excess juices. Cut the fruit into one fourth inch thick slices. There should be about three cups total. Layer one fourth cup of yogurt into each cup or bowl and top with one fourth cup of sliced fruit and granola. Repeat the layers one more time and end with the layer of granola. And lastly, top it off with some almond slices. And now it's time to taste. so much for watching. Until, Until next time, stay safe and healthy. Bye! Awesome job, Evie and Lucia. That yogurt parfait looked so delicious. I know I love having yogurt parfaits for my breakfast in the mornings. That or oatmeal, things like that. I can add some fruit to it. If you can come up with all sorts of ways to, to make your whole grains um, really, really tasty in the morning. And it's a really important thing to start my day off right, especially eating breakfast. I'm hoping you all are eating breakfast. And being that it is the first meal of the day after we have slept, and if I weren't eating breakfast, how would I really feel if I went to school on an empty stomach and I had to sit, I had to do math, I had to do science, and my stomach started rumbling, I'd be concentrating more on my stomach than on my schoolwork. So it's really important to try to put some fuel into your body for you to start your day off right. Thank you for joining me today, everyone, as we went over whole grains and why they were important for our bodies. We learned that that fiber helps um, to scrub out all the bad stuff. That whole grain, because of that fiber, actually stays longer in our belly, so it keeps us fuller longer. And that whole grain is also really, really good for our heart and our blood, so it keeps us really, really healthy. Next week, when you join me again, we're gonna go over um, different kind of healthy beverages. We're gonna talk a little bit about sugar and kind of what it does in our body and why it's, not, why it's important not to have so much. So until then, have a great week. See you next time. Bye.